This is uh, a still image from the moving Cooper is here. One image of his, her bedroom is there, another one is up above, another one is down below. And it's just a very complex and compelling uh, set of images of Cooper in the Tesseract trying to communicate with his daughter. Um, that, uh, and I give you just this much explanation. You can read the rest of the explanation in my book. Let me say a few words about wormholes. Wormholes, black holes are real. We see them, basically. Uh, we see lots of them in our universe. Wormholes are speculation. They are named after the wormholes in an apple. If you're an ant on the surface of an apple, you can go from this side to that side, either across the surface, which is like staying in our universe, or you can go through the wormhole, which goes through a higher dimension to the other side. It's a shorter trip through a higher dimension. Uh, so in the case of our universe, here is a two-dimensional slice through our universe. The wormhole reaches up from here to there. Uh, you travel along the surface of this wormhole. Since I've removed one dimension, you travel on a two-dimensional surface. And you can go through the long front way through our universe or the short route through uh, the wormhole. Wormholes were discovered in the mathematics of Einstein's equation by Ludwig Klass in 1916, rediscovered by Einstein and a colleague in 1935. But in 1962, Bob Fuller and John Wheeler showed that any wormhole will pinch off, it will collapse so fast that you can't get through it uh, unless you put into it something to hold its walls open. That has to be something that repels gravitationally. That has to be some part of the negative energy. The laws of physics do allow such negative energy, but they probably prevent you from placing enough inside the wormhole to hold it open. So wormholes, uh, my guess is, are forbidden by the laws of physics, but we don't know for sure. People have struggled for several decades to try to prove this and have not got it all figured out. In interstellar, this is the actual shape of the wormhole. And so we did a simulation with an IMAX camera looking through the wormhole, also looking around the wormhole, in order to produce the images of the wormhole that you see in interstellar. You look inside this sphere, which is the mouth of the wormhole, you see the uh, nebulae and stars and gas clouds in the distant galaxy, uh, very far away. Uh, here is the wormhole near you with Saturn much farther away. So the wormhole is just two kilometers across. Saturn is very, very big by comparison. But this wormhole is uh, close uh, close to you, so it looks big. I'm going to show you a trip through this wormhole. This is, again, from the simulations by the team at Double Negative, based on the equations I gave them. So you're heading down toward the wormhole. These are the stars and nebulae on the other side. This is one image of Saturn, that's the other image of Saturn. You're about to enter the wormhole, you're inside, you're outside, you're in the other galaxy. Now was that, wasn't that exciting? <laughs> <laughs> so when Christopher Nolan was editing the film, it was all shot, he had uh, done all the filming, it was finished. And one day he telephoned me, uh, it was uh, in the spring of last year, he said, Kip, we have a problem. Come to my house and let me show you the film that from the team at Double Negative of the trip through the wormhole. He showed me a film clip like this one, not precisely this one. He said, I have had the team change the shape of the wormhole and uh, make uh, film clips of the trip for all possible shapes of the wormhole. None of them are suitable for a, a great movie. Uh, he said, well, what do I do? And I said, I don't know. I, I'm afraid you, have, you use artistic license. Uh, you're going to have, for the first time in any major way, you're going to depart from what the calculations say. And so he did, and uh, there is a, a trip through the wormhole that uh, you see in the movie. Uh, so 
this is all a real thing. You're outside the wormhole, traveling around the wormhole. Uh, when he starts into the wormhole, it's changed to make a more exciting trip. So this is all real. This is all from the simulation. We're skimming along the outside of the wormhole. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system?